Hi, I am Maya. What is your name? I like that. I will read a book to you. It is called The Ugly Duckling. The Ugly Duckling is about a bird who is teased because she looks different than the other ducks. In time, however, she learns that what makes her different is also what makes her beautiful. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's begin. In a grassy nest lay seven eggs. Six of the eggs were small, but the egg that lay in the center was much larger than the rest. One by one, the eggs began to crack open. Peep, peep, cried six soft feathered ducklings who hatched from the smaller eggs. Their mother nuzzled her six beautiful ducklings. The mother duck waited and waited for the seventh egg to hatch. The ducklings all gathered around to keep the large egg warm until it began to wiggle. Finally, the seventh egg hatched. Out crawled a giant, fuzzy, feathered bird that looked nothing like the other ducklings. You're an ugly duckling, teased her brothers and sisters. Hush, scolded their mother. You are all my ducklings, beautiful inside and out. Each day the mother duck took her ducklings out for lessons. On the first day, she showed them how to hide in the grass. The six ducklings blended in well, but the ugly duckling was much too large to hide. The next day, the mother taught her ducklings to dive down and catch small fish. The ugly duckling thought the pond weeds looked more delicious, so she stretched out her long neck and plucked some. As she chewed stonewort and widgeon grass, her brother and sisters laughed at her very long neck and big appetite. On the third day, the ducklings were taught to fly. You must take off and land quietly, so hunters cannot hear us, warned their mother. The six ducklings flapped their wings and landed without a sound. But as soon as the ugly duckling was in the air, a loud honk escaped her beak. That night, the ugly duckling went home feeling terrible. It seemed she couldn't do anything right. When everyone fell asleep, she waddled back toward the pond and swam away. Slowly and sadly, the ugly duckling floated across the pond. She traveled for many days and nights, wondering if she could ever be beautiful. As she journeyed alone, she grew and grew. One day, strange sounds rang out in the distance. The ugly duckling, now a grown bird, watched many ducks and geese fleeing danger. The hunters are coming, cried a goose. The ugly duckling realized her brothers and sisters might be in trouble. She turned around and swam toward home. When her mother and siblings saw her, they gasped. The ugly duckling remembered why she had escaped the pond and wanted to turn around. They must be gasping because they think I'm still ugly, she thought. As she turned to swim away again, she caught her own reflection in a waterfall. She was no ugly duckling now. She was a beautiful swan. Excited by her reflection, the beautiful swan trumpeted a loud call. She waved the ducks closer and they hid in the grass behind her large feathers. The hunters passed by without seeing them. All six ducks then thanked their sister. 
Suddenly, the wind picked up and blew a fierce cold air. The weather is changing. We cannot stay here, said one of the ducks. The mother duck explained to the beautiful swan that it was time to migrate. She was worried about the long and dangerous journey. The beautiful swan smiled. No problem, she said. The swan trumpeted another call and took flight. Her siblings followed, making a V behind her. The swan's gigantic wings blocked the wind and helped carry them all to a warmer place. When the swan and ducks arrived, there were new kinds of trees with delicious-looking leaves. The swan saw the ducks trying to reach for the branches, but their necks weren't long enough. With a single stretch, she plucked enough greens for all of them to have a feast. The ducks apologized to the swan for teasing her and promised never to make fun of any bird that was different. Then they all told her that she was the most beautiful bird they had ever seen. Inside and out, added Mother Duck, and they all nuzzled happily together.